Hello, and welcome to the Cabinet Learning Series. In this video, we're going to be talking about PDF forms and specifically how to use PDF forms in your business um, and automate some of your business processes. Um, specifically, we're going to be talking about how to create PDF forms. Uh, we're going to talk about how to then take those PDF forms and use them to create PDF form templates within SAFE. And then using those templates, we're going to be able to automate the creation of those documents as well as automating the data capture. Uh, and we're going to talk about doing that using document sets as well as a module that we have called PDF Forms Monitor. So we'll, we'll talk about how all that. Uh, and the first thing, creating PDF forms. So you might already have some paper forms um, that you already use in your business, but what we'll need to do is take those forms and actually make them electronic fillable forms. To do that, you're going to need some sort of uh, PDF software. I'm using Adobe Acrobat Pro. You do have to have Pro um, to be able to create forms. Reader, you cannot, but there are also other companies that do make PDF software that will allow you to create forms. So use whichever one you're most comfortable with. Um, but using Adobe Acrobat Pro, I'm going to come up here to File, Create, and then down here you'll see Create Form. So I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to ask me what document do I want to make a form? So I can either select a file that's already on my computer, maybe you typed up your form with Word or something like that, um, or if you have it on paper like I mentioned, you could scan it in and use that. I'm going to go ahead and select a file, and I'm going to use this employment application form. There we go. So once I've selected that, I'm going to go ahead and on start. So as you can see, I have an application for employment, and I have a field here for last name, first, middle, date, street address, and so on. But you can tell that it doesn't let me actually fill this information in because it's not a fillable form yet. But now that I'm under the mode for preparing a form, you'll see that I have all these options up here at the top that will allow me to create different types of fields. I can create a text field, check boxes, radio buttons, drop down lists, signature field, and um, all sorts of different things. And all I have to do is just choose the type of field that I want. So I'm going to use a text field and then come down on the page and draw a box around where I want that field to be. So there we go, I've drawn my box. And you'll notice that it asks you to type in a field name. Um, this is important, you want to make sure that you name the field with whatever data you're going to be putting into it. So I'm going to name this field last name and you'll see why shortly here. Um, but it is very important that you do name it again, name the field with what information is going to be going into it. And then I can just continue to create the rest of my fields. So I'll do the first name. Middle. And so on. So you can see as you go through, you'll want to fill out each or create a field for each um, piece of data you want to grab. And you'll see, I'm going to bring up the one I have finished here. There we go, and this is what it should look like once you're done. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. But as you can see, I have fields here, um, some check boxes I can check on or off. Um, but basically, the entire form is now completely fillable. Um, and I can use it within SAFE so that it can be filled out. All right, so I'm going to close that. And that's the first step, again, is just creating this PDF form and making it an electronical, electronic fillable form. Uh, the next thing we'll need to do is open up cabinet management. So here I am in management, and I'm under templates, so where I can create document templates, and I want to go ahead and take that PDF form and create a PDF form template here in SAFE. So I'm going to click on Add, and we're going to name the template. Uh, we'll call this Application. Uh, you can apply any sensitive or security or retention that you might want, um, and I'm going to go ahead and restrict it to the tab that I want this document to be created in. So I'll click on Add. And this is an application, so I'm going to put it in my Employment Documents tab in my Active Personnel Cabinet in my Human Resources Repository. So that way I know that this template is only going to be able to be made or filed in that tab. All right, so once that's chosen, I'm going to hit Next, come here to Step 2, and this is where we pick our manager. Now normally I'm sure you're used to using Adobe as your manager when you're using PDFs, but when you're using a PDF um, form, you're going to want to make sure to use the PDF form manager. So I'm going to check that there, click on add here in step one, and it's going to put PDF here under my extensions in step two. 
And the next thing we want to do is pick the form to use. So right now you can see that it says no file exists right now. That means there's no template saved. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this pick button here. And it's going to ask me to browse out on my computer to the electronic form that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and take that employment application form that I had finished. Click on open. Now you can see it says file exists. So that means it's taken that PDF form and it saved it so that you can create it from within safe. Next thing we're going to do is click on this edit button here. There we go. It's going to bring up our PDF form management window. And on the first tab here under general, there's two different things. Um, view file, that just lets you view the document you have saved here as a template. Um, and then we have this database connect checkbox. Uh, with that being checked, it's actually going to take all of the data from this form anytime someone creates it and fills it out. It's going to take all of that data and put it into a SQL database. Um, and from there, you can do a lot of things with the data. One being using our PDF forms monitor that I'll show you in a little while. But you could also do any kind of um, reporting that you might want to do and things like that. So that's how you would tie it to a database. The next tab here we're going to go do is constants. And on the left hand side here we have different constants that we can use to automatically populate some of these form fields for us. Um, for instance, date here we can use to insert the current date to a field um, as soon as you create the form. On the right hand side here we have a list of all of our different form fields. So as you can see this is where it becomes very important to make sure that you've named each one of those fields when you created the PDF form. Because if you don't name the field it's going to look like this. It's going to say text1 um, text 2, text 3, and so on and so forth, um, and it's going to be really hard to tell what you should map um, to each field. So having them named with what data is going in them makes it easy to say, okay, I want to put the date, make sure I need to go to the date field, and click on add. So now those are mapped up. Um, so yeah, again, you have a few different options here under constants. And then I'm going to come here to folder index links. And this is actually going to allow me to use folder index information to populate folder or PDF form fields as well. So I'm going to click on Add, and the first thing I need to do is pick the repository and then the cabinet that I want to map this PDF form to. So you can see on the left hand side here we have a list of all the different folder indexes for this cabinet, and on the right hand side we have all the different PDF form fields. And now I can simply actually drag and drop uh, to map these fields together to make sure that they automatically populate with any information that would be on the folder. So you can see I can map their address, we'll do a couple more here, bring over their phone, and we'll do their email. There we go. So once you have all of the fields mapped um, that you want to be populated from your folder index, go ahead and click OK. And you can see you'll have a list here that will show you what you've mapped. And then you can hit finish, and you're done with that part. So we've mapped the PDF form fields and we've picked the PDF form template that we want to use. Uh, click on next. And the rest of this is going to be just like um, any other time you've created a document naming template. I'm going to click on Add here to name the document. I'm just going to do the date. I'm going to use a folder index to name the document title as well. So we're going to bring in that person's name. And then what kind of document it is, so an application. Step four, we can do any post creation options. So we can have this automatically go through a workflow. So I'm actually going to turn that on and have it go to my user. So there we go, so we have it going to my user. So as soon as this document is created and saved inside of safe, it's going to automatically get workflowed to me. All right, and click next. And then step five, we have a summary of everything we've just done. So you can see what you've named it, and you've picked PDF forms and so on. Um, so you can make sure everything's correct there. And I'm going to click on finish. All right, so let's go take a look at what that looks like in safe. So here I'm in my human resources repository. I'm in my active personnel cabinet and you can see I have a folder here for all of my different employees and I'm going to go ahead and open the folder here I have highlighted. And up at the top here on the toolbar you'll see this new button and that's actually going to allow me to create this PDF form now. So I'm going to click on new. I'm going to use make sure to check my PDF forms manager and then here's the application template we just made. Uh, you can see it's being named with the date, the person's name, and then application. And when I click OK, it's going to go ahead and auto-populate as many of those fields as it can from the folder index uh, and bring up the PDF form so that I can make any other changes to it that I need to. 
we go. There we go. So you can see uh, we have our PDF fillable form. We have actually all the first fields here already filled out for us. Their name, date, address, and everything. Um, and then I can continue to fill the rest of this information out if I need to, because I'm sure there's going to be other fields on here that weren't able to be populated from the folder index. But nice thing about the folder index, um, populating the PDF form, there's a couple things. You know, one, obviously it saves you all the time of having to type in this information yourself, so it's going to expedite the process of creating these documents. But also it makes sure that the information is more accurate. So the user's not actually having to type it in themselves, it's getting pulled directly from the folder indexes, so that kind of eliminates the problem of human error um, when filling in those fields. All right, so once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on X, save my changes, and there we go. So now it's been filed in the folder that I created it in. I can see a preview of it over here to the right, and then you can see it's also gone through a workflow as well. All right, so we've talked about creating PDF forms. Uh, we talked about taking that PDF form and creating a PDF form template and safe. So now let's go ahead and jump into creating document sets. Now document sets allow you to create all of these documents at once, or multiple documents at once. Let's say you have an entire packet that you need to create for a new employee. You can make sure to create all of those packets or all those documents at once. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come here in management and choose the template that you want to use. You'll want to select it and then come down here to the bottom right and select the button for document set and then click the button for check validity. And that's going to make sure that this document template can be used um, as a document set. And it's going to ask you to pick the repository and cabinet you want to use this document set in. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. I have a window saying that the template is eligible to be used in document sets for the selected cabinet. And if it wasn't eligible, it would come up and tell you um, the reason why and what, what things you might need to change to make so that it is eligible to work as a document template. So I'm going to come here to Cabinets and come to my Active Personnel Cabinet. Edit that. And down on the left-hand side, you'll see a button for Document Sets. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to see a list of all the document sets I have here. And you can see I already have one created called New Hire. So let's go ahead and edit that. So when creating a document set, what you'll need to do is give it a name. As you can see here, this one's called New Hire, so this is my packet anytime there's a new employee. Then you have an option for whether or not you want this document set to be created whenever a new folder is created. Um, so that's going to make it so that you don't even have to worry about remembering to create the document packet. You can just have that checked and so you know anytime a new employee gets added to the system, you have all the associated paperwork that you need um, for that person. I'm going to go ahead and remove these templates here and show you how to add them. Um, click on this Add button here, and it's going to show you all the different templates you have available for a document set. So I'm going to highlight the ones I want to use, so these three documents here. Click OK. So there's our three templates. I'm going to click on Save. And so we can see there's our document set there. Hit Close and Finish to save my changes. All right, so let's go here and Save now. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. So let's see. So I'm just going to fill this out like I normally would any time you have a new person come in. And you can continue to fill the rest of that information out, so I'm, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit Create Folder. And as soon as I do that, you see we have our folder here, and I'm going to click on Open to go inside. And you can see that we have three those three documents created already for us, and the application itself has gone through uh, a workflow and been sent to the appropriate person. So it's a nice way, again, to just really create those documents right away and have them create anytime, be created anytime you create a new folder. Another nice thing about document sets, let's say you already have a folder. So let's go to this person here. But they don't have the documents they need, and you want to create that document set for them. Um, up here at New, where we created the PDF form earlier, we can actually do the drop down to the right of that, and you're going to see the option for document set. So I'm going to click there. It's going to show me the document sets I have available, so I can choose that new hire packet. Click OK. And there we go. So again, you know, you have the ability to create them on demand, 
um, and you have the ability to create them with a new folder. So you can use them as you need to, but it's just a nice way, again, to create multiple documents all at once. And as you can see, each document's not only been created, but if I look at the preview, I can see that the form fields have also been pre-populated um, based on the mapping we did earlier. Okay. Um, the last thing I want to show you here, let's go to another folder now. Uh, Jay May is here. And we're going to use a module called PDF Forms Monitor. And what that allows me to do is I can create a PDF form here. So I'm going to click on New. And we're going to create this application here. In this document, I've checked that box when creating the template um, for Database Connect that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to create this form and type in the phone. Once I'm done, just like I'd normally do, just close it, save my changes. Right. And just like before, the document's been routed through workflow, and I can see a preview of it over here to the right. And then we have PDF Forms Monitor here. Now, PDF Forms Monitor runs as a service in the background, so you won't even see this. Uh, but just for demo purposes, I'm going to go ahead and run it manually here. Hit Run Now. And then within a couple seconds here, we should have another document created. So let's see. There we go. So we have our application that we created ourselves. And then based off that application, PDF Forms Monitor was constantly looking to see if a new application has been made. And then it takes that information and creates this new document. You can see that it's even populated the form fields here. We have our phone number filled out and the name down here. Um, so it's just a nice, a PDF Forms basically what it does, or PDF Forms Monitor, basically what it does is it monitors a database table and uses that information um, to populate a, and create a PDF form within SAFE. So we took the information we had from filling out the application, put it into a database, and then automatically created a new document based off that information. Now, the nice thing about PDF Forms Monitor is we could hook it up to um, more than just another PDF form. You could have, say you have another, say you have an HR system or an accounting system or something like that, and they have a SQL database. We could even hook PDF Forms Monitor up to that um, to automatically create PDF forms. All right. So just to kind of recap here, we've talked about how to create PDF forms. Uh, we've talked about how to take those PDF forms and make them PDF form templates within SAFE. And then we've talked about how to automate some of this creation and data capture using document sets. Again, that allows us to create an entire packet of documents at once. And using PDF forms monitor, which is our module that creates PDF forms automatically and files them into SAFE. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, if you guys, uh, I know there's a lot in this, so if you have any questions, feel free to contact your cabinet reseller or shoot us an email at info at cabinetpaperless.com or give us a call at 800-621-6501. Thank you for joining the webcast and hope to see you in the next one.